hat. Oh, Kingston, can I see yours? I want to tell them we have some new ones. We're live! Hi, everybody. Hi! Hi. This is the kids. Oh. This is the kids yoga game. My name is Alyssa Prettyman. You can find this game available for free download on alyssayoga.com slash blog. Um, it's just a PDF that you cut up into little pieces once you print it out. You pick five and you can tell a story about it. So today we have some new poses on the kids yoga game. So there's going to be an updated PDF. Um, and in honor of Easter... We added bunny pose. Um, we added rainbow, because rainbows are nice. We also added egg and crocodile. Yeah, but crocodile is It's not really Eastery. We added trampoline and child's pose. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe we forgot child's pose. Every, yeah, and I can't believe we forgot turtle. Every yeah, and we're going to add turtle, too. So if you think of any poses that we forgot that we need to add, just let us know, and we're going to update the paper so you can print it out and you can play yeah, more. because there are, well, I know you might be thinking in, like, poses we haven't done, like, wild thing. Maybe, yeah. they, maybe you might be thinking, like, we don't have it because we haven't done it. But you could just tell us that, or if you could, could or if you wanted to suggest, if we yeah, could, you could, well, you could yeah. email us on my website, Alyssa Yoga, on the contact page, and we'll do a story about whatever you like. Um, so my name's Alyssa. I'm Jackson Kingston. And who's that little ball for? Luna. 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 Luna loves yoga. Um, oh. So what other, do we have any other announcements for today? We have some new game pieces. Yeah, we did that. You guys, you guys have some good looking hair. And I like that the hair is growing out a little bit. And we're also going to do like this Easter game. Yeah, well, Kingston's going to use some of the poses from Easter. Yeah. We're going to do a warm up first though. Yeah, we're also going to do an Easter game. Yeah. Like it might be... Like, um, I think it's like in the afternoon, maybe. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do an Easter game in the afternoon with our cousins. Yeah, we're gonna do a FaceTime, and you can, and you guys can join. <laughs> you can join, <laughs> okay? So, the first thing that we're gonna do when we warm up is we're gonna find a comfortable seat. They look like they're sitting pretty comfortable. Are you guys comfortable? Okay. Are, are you comfortable? out there okay so you're comfortable too perfect now what i want us to think about is something that makes us happy something and it doesn't have to be like a big thing it doesn't have to be like disney world you know what made me really happy the other day what? we went down to a nearby lake and we threw rocks in the water and some of the rocks went like boom and some of the rocks went speak and some of the rocks went splash, splash, splash. Yeah, so we had to like so name like, what the sound would be for the rocks. Like, and that made me really happy just hearing the different sounds that the rocks made in the water. And it was really simple, and I liked it. So, yeah. Jackson, can you think of something that makes you really happy? Hmm. I think of a lot of things. Just one thing. Oh, okay. One simple thing that makes you happy, just for the sake of the exercise. Movie night with my family. Movie night. Oh, who doesn't love a good movie night? Kingston, what I makes you happy? Two. Okay, what are yours? Mine is yoga and broccoli pose. Yeah. Broccoli pose? Oh, that was a funny joke. I like yoga and broccoli pose. Okay. Can you think of something that makes you really Anything at all that makes you really happy. And now what we're going to try to do is hold on to that thought. So can you sit still and close your eyes? And as you breathe in, think about that thing that makes you really happy. And as you breathe out, keep thinking about that thing that makes you happy. And you don't have to like squeeze or force it, just relax. And as you breathe in, think about what makes you happy. Are you thinking about it? Mm -hmm. Jackson, are you thinking about pizza and a movie night? Mm -hmm. Kingston, are you thinking about yoga? Yes. Okay. And broccoli. And broccoli pose. It's a really good pose. Hi. 
So it's really good for your brain to try to hold on to good things that you love, things that make you happy, right? It helps your brain think that we're feeling pretty okay mm -hmm. if we hold on to the things and the thoughts that make us happy and we just think about how happy we are. And I'm pretty happy. Are you happy? Yep. Yep? Okay. I'm happy that yoga was a thing. Yeah, I'm happy yoga is a thing too. Um, and what makes Luna happy? Cheeseburgers. Um, <laughs> a little bit. She loves likes bones. Meat. Like, yeah. She loves, she likes kale. It's a lot. Look at me like that, Luna. <laughs> She's like, how dare you tell people that I like cheeseburgers. <laughs> okay. So first of all, we're going to warm up with some breathing. And we're going to warm up with dandelion breath. You guys want to help me? Story. Yeah. yeah. So now they'll know how to do it. So dandelion breath. Can you sit? And then imagine you're holding a dandelion in your hands. And can you go and then blow all the dandelion seeds out into the world? Before, um, can we do four of them? Can we breathe in? I think I yawned there a little bit. Maybe you might I'll yawn. Maybe I'll let you oh. How many more do we have? Two? Yeah. Okay. I'll Two see. more. Can you do one more with me? Don't blow too hard. Whoa. I think I see you on again. They yeah. blew really hard. So, you know, okay. So now what we're going to do from a sitting pose, can you sit on maybe the ground? Like Luna? Maybe crisscross applesauce. Put your hands on your knees. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make it look like. No. Thank you, Blue. No. Smooches. We're going to try to make it look like cat cow pose when we sit. So as you inhale, can you puff your chest out? And as you exhale, can you round your back out? Like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, a little bit, Notre Dame. Inhale, big, puffy, proud chest. Exhale, hunch back. Three more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, push back. Last time. Inhale, open chest. Exhale, round the back. Okay. Now what we're going to do is some blowing rainbows. So what we're going to do, can you sit up tall? Can you bring your arms out to the side? And then can you bring... One hand down and swing the other arm up like you're drawing the arch of a rainbow. And then come up and do the other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go over. Inhale, draw the rainbow. Exhale, go over. And then just keep going a few times on your own. And imagine that you're just painting. What's your favorite color in the rainbow? Mm. Kingston? Blue or red. Blue or red. Jackson, what's your favorite color in the rainbow? Mm. Mm. Red and... Mm. I think it's red, maybe. Red? What's your favorite color in the rainbow? Can you mm. shout it out? Green! I like green, too. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Put ourselves in a blender. What? What? Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm not so here's here's our blender pose. We're gonna imagine that these are two pieces of the blender. On your in breath, touch the ceiling, and as you exhale, turn. Inhale up. Exhale, twist like a blender. Inhale up. Exhale, turn. Inhale up. Exhale, blend. Inhale up. Exhale, turn. Inhale, up. Exhale, turn. Can you do it again on your own? Can you And stop. Now I'm going to make sure Luna's not eating my sock over here. Okay, she's not. All right, sit up tall and stick your feet out. Like... Both of them or one? Both of them. Oh, no. Can you oh. stick both of your feet out? 
Can you point and flex your feet? Point and flex your feet. Hi ho the day. Can you point and flex your feet? Can you make circles with your toes? Jackson, can you make circles with your toes? I think one of Jackson's feet is actually broken. Can you draw circles with your feet? Can you draw circles in the other direction with your feet? Do your feet draw circles? They do kind of move in circles. Can you bend your knees and kick your legs straight? Bend, straight, bend, straight. Bend, 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 straight, 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 straight. I kicked myself. You kicked yourself? Straight. Okay, can you stand up? We're almost done with the warm up and then we're gonna tell some stories. Yay! All right, so as we stand up, we were just wiggling our feet, right? Mm -hmm. Straighten our legs. Can you kick your feet and touch your feet? Yeah, you know, like the Frankenstein. Boom. For a zombie walks. Boom. And now we're really walking. Boom. Boom. How many times can you touch your toes? One, mm -hmm. two, 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 three, three, three four, five, five, six, five, seven, eight, six, nine, ten, eleven, thirty-seven. Oh, what the heck? Forty-two. Oh, a hundred. Oh, we did it a hundred times. Thank Great. goodness. Okay. You gotta keep standing up. You're not done yet. Wow. Oh my god. All right. So these are called little windmills. Can you bring your arms out? Mm -hmm. And hands and feet. Hands and feet. Hopefully you don't have really stinky feet, like Luna. What the, wait, how does Luna have sneaky feet? Can we do a few more? I want to see. One, two, three, really good windmills, four, I can't do it. five. Can you jump your feet together? Can you jump your feet out? Can you jump your feet together? Can you jump it out? Together, out. Together, out. What are we doing? Jumping 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six seven, thirty-seven, forty. I get the hundred. And one hundred and twenty-seven. Ha ha. Man. Every any number one Jackson. You can do a hundred faster than I thought. Okay. Okay. So, bum Time for the kids yoga stories. So who's gonna go first today? I don't know. Can we let Kingston go? Because you normally go first. Okay. We'll save you for the big finale. So, oh, yeah. Kingston, can you bring your poses up? It's not a famous, famous story. Famous? What's a famous it? story? What's it called? I can't tell you. All what right, is? so. Yeah, let's it's called the Easter egg hunt. Okay, so Kingston's going to do a story about an Easter egg hunt. And we're going to show them the poses first, right, Jackson? Can you yeah. help me? Yeah. All right. So the first pose in Kingston's story is child's pose. Jax, can you guys show me child's pose? I'm doing it In child's side. pose, you come down onto your knees and you relax your chest forward. You can even sit your backside on your like heels. I feel like I'm doing caterpillar. Yeah, so in caterpillar, your backside is in the air. In child's pose, your backside is on your heels. Yes, you can sit back. Perfect. I feel like this is like a little speed boat, like this. Oh yeah, Betty. Very cute. Okay, so that's child's pose. Trampoline. Trampoline. Sometimes in yoga we call this reverse table, but trampoline seems so much more fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for trampoline, you sit back on your back side and you bring your hands behind you and then you spring your hips up like a trampoline. Boing! And then you can put it down. I thought and then this you can I thought this was table or crap. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call this trampoline today. Boing. Okay. Ow! I think I just sat on a knee because I stepped on a knee today. Okay, so that's trampoline. You okay? Okay. Rainbow. Oh, rainbow is a fun one where we sit down. We did some rainbow arches earlier. So in rainbow, you sit down, put one foot in. Put one leg out. Can you guys show me that? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have like a rainbow arch right there. Take a big breath in and exhale. Okay, 
And then we come up and we say, look, Ma, no hands. Look, look, Ma, no look, hands. Ma, no hands. And we switch the feet. Whoa. And I have one leg long, one foot bent, or one knee bent. Then we put the hand on the long leg, and we draw the rainbow arch over to the other side. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's rainbow. That's perfect. Okay, but, so bunny. Like this. Come on to your knees. And then see if you can, <laughs> oh, we're gonna run out of room here. Come on to your knees and see if you can make the top of your head to the ground. The very top of your head. Now sometimes people on bunny will hold their hands behind their back. Like a little cotton ball tail? tail? Yeah, like a little tail. And maybe you can wiggle your little cotton ball tushy. Okay, so that's bunny. And then egg is lie down on your back. Oh. And hug your knees into chest. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Now you gotta hug your knees in so you look like a little egg. Oh, wait, I'll do it you. Oh, thanks, Jackson. So Jackson's gonna show us sideways. And then can you bring your nose all the way to touch your knees? So, okay. Egg, 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 Two, three. Okay, once upon a time in California, there was a child. Kingston, what happens next? And he was jumping on his trampoline. He was jumping on his trampoline. So can you bend your knees, put your hands behind you, and lift your hips up? Boing! Hold for one. Hold for two. One, two, three. Hold for three. So once upon a time in a house in California, there was a child bouncing on a trampoline. What happened next, Kingston? When, when he saw, when, when he saw a rainbow. He saw a rainbow. So can you sit down and make one leg long and bend the other knee? Now put your hand on the long leg and reach the other arm up and over like rainbow. So you like what? This one wants to get it too. Yeah, perfect. For one. For two. For three. Now, say, look, Ma, no hands. Look, Ma, no hands. Switch the legs. Make the other leg long. Oh, yeah, that one. Make that leg long. Perfect. Now put your hand on the long leg. And reach the other arm up and over. Oh, and hold for one. Hold for two. One, hold two. For three. Okay. So there was a child at a house in California. He was bouncing on a trampoline and he saw a rainbow. What happened next, Kingston? The next day he woke up, he he got a little outfit bit of a bunny. Oh, he got a bunny outfit. So he got a costume? Yes. Cool. So in bunny, come into me. Like, can you put the very top of your head on the ground? Can you can put I the... only put my heel? It's easier. You want to put your hair on the ground? Yeah, it's easier. Sure, it is easier. You put your hair on the ground. So put your head or your hair on the ground and breathe for one. Breathe for two. Oh, wait, remember your bunny tail. Oh, get your cotton tail. Do I have to have it? Well, you, you, what don't, about a, you don't have to do it. I know, but like a bunny with no tail. Don't you think that's a little weird? What if the Easter bunny had no tail? The yeah. Easter bunny had no tail. These thoughts. Okay, so the boy got a bunny costume. And then he got, and then he was looking for Easter eggs. He was looking for Easter eggs. Can you curl up like a little egg, lie on your back, oh. hug your knees into chest, and try to touch your nose all the way up to your knees. Curl in, curl in, little egg for one, for two, for three. Okay. So the little boy who had jumped on the trampoline and saw the rainbow and got a bunny costume went looking for Easter eggs. And he found five Easter eggs. Are you going to do egg pose five times? Oh no. Oh my goodness. No. Maybe we'll hold it for five breaths. Okay. So hug in like a little egg again and hold for one. Hold for two. Hold for three. Hold for four. Nose to knees, hold for five. 
<laughs> okay. So the little Seven. boy in the bunny suit went looking for five Easter eggs. One, two, three, four, five. What happened next, Kingston? And then... Did he find them? Yeah, he found them. Oh, he found them. So he did? No. Oh. I didn't even use all my poses. You did? I think you used no. them. Most of them. You yeah, you used all of them except these. Well, that's the breathing. The yeah. breathing can come at the end or it can be part of your story. Then the, the child's. Oh, the child. Come into child's pose. Awesome. I guess you have one. For two, for three. Okay, so the child did what, Kingston? He he went to the end of the rainbow and he found the Easter bunny. Um. Okay. So a we have to do rainbow and then we have to do bunny again. Yeah. Okay. So for rainbow, sit on your backside, make one leg the long leg and bend the other knee. Put your hand on the long leg and reach the other arm up and over. For one. For two, for three. Now, what do we say between rainbow? Look, Ma, no oh, hands. Look, Ma, no hands. Switch the legs. And then put your hand on the long leg and reach over and hold for one. Hold for two. Hold for three. Oh, come on, Becca. Whoa. Okay, so he went to the end of the rainbow and he found the real Easter bunny. So now you have to do bunny. Kneel and see if you can put the top of your head or your hair on the ground. Hold for one. Hold for two. Hold for three. All right, Kingston, what happens next in your story? And then the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. Back to bunny pose for one. Shake your cotton tail for two. <laughs> and three. Then the Easter Bunny did what? He said, oop. Open that, open those five eggs. Open those five eggs, okay. So the Easter Bunny told the little boy to open the five eggs. So curl back up like a little egg and hold for one. Hold for two, hold for three, hold for four. Oh, hold for five, because there's five eggs. Okay, so what happened when the little boy opened the eggs? He, he found, the money and then a stick and then a sticker or of a bee because yeah. he found money and he found a sticker of a bee because yeah. yeah. all right mm -hmm. so does that mean you want to do bumblebee breath mm -hmm. yeah yes how many should we do kingston maybe like six six will take a while maybe like three yeah okay Five. we'll do three bumblebee breaths so take a big breath in and can you buzz like a bee? Mm -hmm. You might feel your face tingles and it feels kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Two more. Can you make a straight face? Mm -hmm. Very straight face. Mm -hmm. My lips feel tingly. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. <gasps> Maybe you flutter like a little bee. Huh. Is that the end of your story? Of course. That was a great story. Nice job, Kingston. I wish there was a place called House Pose. House Pose? Maybe we'll make it up. Okay, Jackson, what was your favorite thing about Kingston's story? I like that this uh, that his story was based on Easter and he got a bunny costume. Thanks. Yeah, I like that there were two types of bunnies. There was a bunny costume, but then there was the actual Easter bunny. So you got to do a lot of bunny pose today, which is kind of fun, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice job, Kingston. Thank you. Can I collect the pieces so you have more room to, to do Jackson's story? I was in the middle of log pose. Luna is very good at log pose too, right? Yeah, are you good at log pose? She's doing, she was just doing snake. All right, so Jackson, can you bring your poses up so we can explain to people how to do the poses? Yup. Oops, I mixed it up. Okay, how? All right, what poses? So Jackson has chosen 
mountain pose. So can you stand up tall? I want to be clapped. Yeah, and you can bring your arms overhead. Sometimes that's called an extended mountain. Sometimes mountain has arms by your sides, right, Kingston? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can collapse the mountain. You could stand really tall. Uh, Jackson also picked happy baby. So can you lie on your back? You can try to hold on behind your knees. I'm going to do it sideways. Or you can try to hold on to your feet. Now, if you hold on to your feet, take your knees out a little bit wider. What? This makes no sense. Right here. But take your knees out a little bit wider because that's more the happy baby. Yeah. Because you yeah, want a happy baby yeah, it should be different from egg. Yeah, yeah. Wah, wah. Extra credit for baby sounds. All right. The next pose we have is doll pose. So can you stand up? <laughs> oh, we're so tired today. Yeah, no. Can you stand up? Stand up. And then forward fold. Can you just fold forward and just hang out? You can bend your knees and swing your arms. Excuse me. Can we can we do like the what's heavy or what's lighter thing so I can fall asleep? Yeah, we'll do that at the end. Okay. This is Jackson's story though, so we'll let Jackson do his story first. Yes. So that was doll pose, and then Jackson also has let's see cow pose. So come onto hands and knees, and. Droop your belly towards the ground and then lift your chin up and go. Very good, Kind of. Ohm. Yeah, ohm is moo backwards. I get it. Okay, Jackson also has log pose, which is our favorite because you just lie down, right? Yes. Yep, and Thank Luna's you. doing it. Luna's definitely doing it. Thank you for this time. Uh, That's the fight. A little bad news. It's not going to be at the end of the story. <gasps> How okay. You? And the last thing Jackson picked today for his class was dandelion breath. And we did that in the beginning, remember? We went. Yeah, I'm going to count out that in a certain part of my story this time. And we want to try to blow all the pieces off the dandelion. So it's a really long. <gasps> right? Okay. So this is Jackson Perdue's story. It is the kind of true story about Hermes. About Hermes. He okay. Loves mythology in. Yeah, he loves so, mythology. once upon a time in a mountain. Once upon a time in a mountain. <laughs> Can you stand up? I guess so. Do it as butt. I'll do it. No, okay. Can you stand up tall and do a mountain pose and hold for one? And that's a very GQ mountain for two. Here for three. All right. Once upon a time, there was a mountain. And inside that, fa in, in, inside that mountain, there was a family. And then a happy baby woke up. Ooh, a happy baby. So lie on your back, bend your knees. Take your knees out a little bit wider than your body. Can you make your knees go wider than your body? Uh -huh. I think that's impossible because your knees are your body. Your knees are your body, but they can go, if they're in like this, they're too tight, and that's like egg pose. If they're out like this, it's like happy baby pose. Okay? Here for one. Here for two. Here for three. Okay, so once upon a time in a mountain, there was a happy baby. Jackson, what happens next? His name was Hermes, and he decided to go exploring. But he knew if he went away, then his mother would notice. So he put a doll under her arm. <gasps> the old bait and switch. So can you come into rag doll? Bend your knees. Okay, I'm going to do it. Forward fold and hold for one. Hold for two, hold for three. Okay, so so far, family lives in the mountain. There's a little happy baby named Hermes who wants to go on an adventure, but he knows his mom won't like it, so he swaps himself out for a doll. And then what happens? He snuck outside and he found a log. He found a log. Can you lie down in log pose? I want to lay down oh. out of the screen. Okay, so Hermes went on an adventure at night and swapped himself out for a doll, and he found a log. So can you lie down and pretend you're a log for one, here for two, 
here for three. Then what happened, Jackson? In that log, he found a turtle. I was gonna, we were gonna make a turtle pose, but do you want to try to do a turtle pose? Uh, sure. Okay, we haven't done, we haven't printed turtle pose yet, but we'll add it to the new sheet. So in the log, he found a turtle. So can you sit with your knees bent and your feet out wide? And can you try to wiggle your fingers under under your knees out there? Whoa. And then you try to get your chest closer to the ground. No, no, that's uh, downward dog. Yeah. And that's your turtle pose. Okay? Yeah. Uh, hey, look, this. Ball. See how my no, back is rounded like a turtle shell? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. So Hermes found the log, and in the log, he found the turtle? Yeah. Okay. What happened he next? wants to make a new creation out of out of the turtle shell. So he finds a dandelion. <gasps> he finds a dandelion. Oh no, he doesn't blow it out, but we can still do it. Okay, so. we'll do the dandelion breath. As long as you can. <laughs> I'm still okay. going, guys. Oh. I think he's just making his face a little kiss. Okay. Wait. All right. So he wanted to get the turtle out of his shell because he wanted to use the shell for something else. So he got a dandelion. And he he got the dandelion and started tickling the turtle. Oh, Should wait. Should we do like a laughing turtle? Let's do a laughing turtle. <laughs> Can you wiggle your fingers on the ground? <laughs> and your feet. Don't forget the feet. Wiggle your fingers. So Hermes was tickling the little turtle with a dandelion, and what happened, Jackson? The turtle was being tickled so hard he flew out of his own shell, right in, into the lake nearby. So it takes him a couple minutes, and he invents the very first liar. What's a liar? I think that's what it's called. A liar. Like the the muse. The musical instrument? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so then Hermes feels hungry. Wait, does he make the liar out of the turtle shell? Uh-huh. Uh, wait, does that mean we have to do turtle again? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do turtle again. Oh, man. Ugh. But it's an empty turtle shell. So oh, yeah. How do we make an empty turtle shell? Uh, no in. turtle in it, maybe? All right. Like, so pull it your hand. hands in and just be a shell. Okay. So Hermes makes a liar out of the turtle shell, and then what? He he feels hungry, and just like Luna, he finds a bowl fifty of his brother Apollo's cows. Oh, oh yeah, he has cows. Oh, come on to hands and knees and jerk oh. your belly down this and lift so your head up. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of cows. It, but they're golden cows. Fifty of a you go better. Apollo's golden cows. He's great. So he he knows if he just takes some of the cows, he then what? he knows if he just eats some of the cows where they are, then Apollo will notice. Yeah. yeah. So Probably. he starts, and so he sees an, another nearby cave, and he starts making the cows walk back. Okay, so we have to not only do cow pose, backwards walking, but we have to do backwards walking okay. now. Jackson, lift your chin up. I'm walking back. Um, go, um, 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 oh, I ran out of room. So 50 golden cows are walking backwards into a cave? Yeah. Okay, got it? He starts to so he gets two of the cows although he doesn't okay eat, well, but then he doesn't feel hungry anymore so he decides not to eat the cows so yeah no your body but uh, but he let's just let's just I'll just add that part of the story okay yeah cool. because it's fine yeah that part was Sometimes mythology gets a little bit crazy. 
Right. So, that morning, Apollo notices that two of his cows are gone. <gasps> cows are gone. The back was walking cow. I'm not hearing. Okay. Um, he tried, it, it takes him a while to figure it out because the footprints were backwards. And then he act, and then he finally realized it was Hermes who did it. Hermes the happy baby? Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Oh, happy, baby. happy baby. Lie on your back. Bend your knees. Try to hold on to your legs and your feet. It's still he's still a baby. And breathe for three. He's a very busy baby. Here for two. Here for one. Is okay. Is the other guy? So Paul is trying to figure out what happened to his cows. The footprints are backwards. Hermes says, What? Um, no, no, no. Apollo finds out it was Hermes. Oh, okay. So he talks to his father, and Wait, no one got a punishment, but they were all upset at each other. So they both make up, they say sorry, like Apollo's all sorry for telling on him, and Hermes is sorry for stealing some of his cows. So in return, I didn't say cow. Wait, what? Oh shoot, he you said, said cow. cow. I said the C word. Okay, it sounds like mum. It does sound like mum. Um, okay. So, so they Hermes say has, yeah, Hermes has, Hermes has a gift for Apollo and he gives him the lyre that he made. <gasps> Out of the turtle shell, so we have to do turtle. Wait, we have to do turtle, I said. Oh, out of the turtle shell. Out of the turtle shell, so come into turtle. Wait, but there's one turtle in the turtle Bend shell. Bend your so. knees, swing your hands under your feet, oh, and curl up like a shell. Wait, but there wasn't any turtle, turtle in it. Okay, so hug your hands. What can we just do? Hollow turtle. Pose. We'll call this hollow turtle shell. Yeah. Here for one, here for two, here for three. <gasps> so then, in return, and for and then Apollo gives Hermes a gift, which is uh I think it was like a staff maybe. He gives him a staff. We could do stick pose. Oh yeah, we could do stick. But you know, stick. All right, so, so for staff pose, the stick pose, log pose. Come into your table. Reach one mm -hmm. leg back. Reach the other leg back. Hold yourself off the ground I, like I, a long stick for one, for two. For three. Okay. I, I think we should have done that. And then Apollo also gives him a, a golden whip for his for some of his cows. Not all of them, but for some. What sound does a whip make? And that is the end of the story of Hermes. That was excellent. Can, Can you say what your favorite thing was about Jackson's story? My favorite thing was like somebody. So somebody does something bad, and then somebody, and then he gives somebody for what turns. Oh like that. yeah, like they're sorry for doing stuff to each other. Like Hermes sorry for stealing two of his cows, and then Apollo sorry for for, for, for telling on it. Yeah, so that's a really great part of the story, Jackson, because mm -hmm. what we talk about, or what you talked about, was saying sorry, maybe if you do something that makes somebody upset, which is an important thing to do. Yeah. I also love how creative it was that Jackson took a story that he knew, and he made sort of a new spin on the story using some Yeah, because poses. the turtle part wasn't really true. I just didn't want to make it violent for the little kids who are out there watching this, so... Yeah. Well, Jackson, that was an excellent, excellent story. I liked it a lot. Do you guys want to relax for a minute yes, or two? No. Yes, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. I want to be next to mom. Okay. I'm going to be next to you. So, if you're, I guess we have to angle the camera down oh. so you can see what's happening down here. There's mm -hmm. some Luna. There's the yoga game. We're hanging out. But maybe you could lie down and relax and imagine that you're really, really Heavy. What's something that's really, really heavy? Um, our Peloton right over there. Yeah, we got a bike. Um, Cows are pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. 
Turtles can be heavy. Yeah, a big sea turtle could be pretty heavy. This so thing's heavy. Imagine that you're something really, really heavy. And can you pretend you're so heavy that you sink down against the ground? <laughs> but let it be relaxing. Now, can you pretend you're something really, really light, like maybe a dandelion seed blowing in the breeze? Oh, what's that? Or in the lyre. Yeah, wow. or a bumblebee floating in the air. But can you pretend or think about... Or an egg. Yeah. Can you think about what it would feel like to be something really, really light and take a big breath in and a big breath out? Can you think about something? Remember that thing that made you really happy that you thought about in the beginning? Yeah. Can you think about that thing? And can you take three deep breaths while you think about that thing that makes you feel really happy and want to smile? One. For two, for three. Jackson, what are you going to do? Mm. Make Legos. Uh, make Legos. Uh, I kind of want to watch, maybe I want to, uh, maybe if mom's still awake, then I want to watch the Trolls World tour, tour with her. Mom's still awake. <laughs> Mom likes an early bedtime herself. <laughs> All right, friends, neighbors, and everybody out there, thanks for watching this kids' yoga game. Um, if you make up your own stories and you email them to us, Alyssa, JH7 at Gmail, we'll perform your stories. If you have any ideas for poses or breathing things or other stuff for us to do, let us know. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Happy Friday. If you're watching on Friday, but if you're not watching on Friday, happy day. Yeah. Happy, just have a happy, happy day. day day. Happy day. Happy day. <laughs> happy day day. Happy day day.